update Friday, Paul Lindman, Scott Lynn, as we head into Memorial Day weekend and honor those who have given their all in service to their country. Thought you'd like to hear about an organization that is uh, really doing uh, right by veterans in our community. The uh, Fisher Foundation, since 1990, has built so-called comfort homes on the grounds of major military and VA medical centers, kind of like Ronald McDonald houses, so family members can be close to their loved ones uh, when there's hospitalization for an unexpected illness, disease, or injury. Ken Fisher joins us from the Fisher House uh, this morning to pick up the story. I know there's one up at uh, Madigan at Joint Base Lewis uh, McCord in Washington State, Ken, but uh, Portland still uh, needs to get one, right? You are on the list. We're actually going to get to Portland within the next couple of years. Uh, uh, But it is on the list. We work very closely, obviously, with the Surgeons General and with the VA so that we focus on where the needs are the greatest. And uh, unfortunately, there is a great need there. Talk about the need for these comfort homes, if you would, Ken. You know, when you think about our our servicemen and women, uh, you know, the, the focus is on them, and rightfully so. But behind every military uh, serviceman or woman is a family. And these families bear burdens and make sacrifices that we Americans really are not conscious of. We, we really don't, uh, don't factor that into our thinking. And, and when their loved one is deployed, the stress factor is, you know, obviously multiplied by, by a factor of 10, say. But when they become wounded, that stress factor, it, it actually grows even more. And uh, so the, that, the fact that the houses are there, they, they take care of the families. There's no charge to stay in, in a house. They can stay there as long as, they, as the hospital stay dictates. The, the need for the houses are just, uh, are just critical. Memorial Day, obviously, is about those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. And yet, uh, as you you're mentioned here, the vets who are injured, uh, it, it's so difficult for them and their families as well. Yes, it is. But, the, you know, the, they're living through catastrophic wounds that would have been fatal, say, back in Vietnam. Uh, so the world-class health care that they're getting from our military doctors and nurses is, is, is so, so important, uh, you know, that they're living now. And, and the rehab that they're doing, they're doing through the VA system. So they're getting the best possible care they can get. Uh, but it's up to us Americans uh, to take care of them now and take care of their families. It's got nothing to do with politics. It's got nothing to do with the way you feel about the war. It's about those who volunteer to put them, their, their safety and, and their, their lives on the line for us. Ken, for those uh, non-military families listening to us today who might think, well, the VA takes care of all of this, the thing I think is great about your foundation, the Fisher House Foundation, is that it, it's a unique public-private relationship, isn't it, so that we, we're coming together with government to make sure these needs are being met. You know, there's always going to be unmet needs. The government uh, can't do everything. And, and unfortunately, we've got too many people out there that say there's a problem, but we prefer to say there's a problem, but we can be part of the solution. And I think if, if more of us, you know, got together and, and focused on being solution-oriented instead of just a problem, you know, just someone who says we have a problem, you know, we can go so much further in, in, in our ability not only to help uh, in this area, but in so many other areas, too. What do you hear from uh, members of the 17,000 families or so that uh, stayed in your comfort houses last year? What, what kinds of co- feedback do you get? Well, it's humbling because they say thank you to me. And, you know, really it's them that get the thanks. What we do is easy. What they do is very difficult. We, and what we want to do, and it's very simple, is just honor their sacrifices and, and honor what they've done, uh, you know, both the serviceman or woman and the family. Uh, it's just to honor what they've done for us. Ken, we will uh, link your site, fisherhouse.org, to 1190kx.com this morning so people can uh, support uh, the foundation financially and maybe speed along the Fisher House that's coming to Portland sometime soon. We appreciate your talking to us in Portland today. Well, thank you very much, and have a good, safe holiday weekend. We thank should, you, Ken. Take care. We thanks, should, guys. We should point out that Ken Fisher was awarded the Department of Defense Medal for Distinguished Public Service this year. Fisher House was founded by his uncle, and these homes are operated actually by the Army, Navy, and Air Force. It's the foundation that brings in the money to support them.